I'm Krigo, and this is Stardew Valley. Welcome, welcome, and it's Sandy's birthday. Do you know what Sandy likes? She's a woman, so probably Yorlory or something. I don't know, man, you know, I'm out of touch. All right, now, let's see. Uh, the spotlight, recycled machine. Yeah, very big spotlight. Uh, we cannot call for Sandy, so that's a bad thing. Peggy, you have to find a present, though. You know, you're a woman, you know these things. Oh, my lord. <sighs> Hi, Krigo. Huh? Well, one second. There's a better voice for her. Oh, hi, Kurigo. Well, that's a little bit creepy, isn't it? Oh, hi, Kurigo. Uh, well, that was quite a workout walking all the way up here. Anyways, I came by to ask if you wanted to have dinner with us tonight. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, we don't have to. But if you decide to come, could you please bring a large mouth pass with you? Hey, hey, hey. You just want the free food, huh? That's right, one of those big slimy fish from the lake. I need one for the casserole I'm making. <laughs> okay, well, it'll be at our house at around 7 p.m. tonight. And don't forget the last my best. Bye! Okay, wow, instead she goes to Willy and buy one, but alright. Harvest time! Damn boy! These are thick pumpkins, Peggy. Thick, I'm telling you. <gasps> oh no! Oh no, Peggy, what is that? Oh no! What did I do? Bam. But yeah, we definitely have to go to the desert, Peggy, you know, for Sandy's birthday. And do you also have an invite? Oh my god, what are you what are you setting up with Yodi? Huh? I know these little tricks. Hey, why don't you come to dinner? My dad invited you, huh? And then he's going to talk about me and his daughter. And I have absolutely no interest in her, you know? And then I have to be all polite to him and to his wife and to the entire freaking family and to the daughter, of course. I could not say like, but dude, I'm not interested in your daughter, right? You know, she's just a friend, you know? That is so insulting to the entire family. So, you know, I have to be all political. And I'm speaking out of experience here, by the way, you know? Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin. We are a pumpkin boy. We are a pumpkin boy. Sadly, Peggy's not a pumpkin girl because he doesn't plant all the seeds yet. Oh, that's because I'm looking for presents, she says. I really hope that Peggy didn't buy any weird stuff right from all the money so that we can actually... Oh, very good, Peggy. Very good, girl. Look at her. Look at those legs, right? Running all over the field like there's a marathon going on. Talking there. <laughs> okay, we are almost complete. Oh my god, we have so many pumpkins, Peggy. So many. I hope you have enough seeds, though. No? No? If not, you have to sell some stuff. Uh, dear Kriga, I just want to remind you that the Stadium Valley Festival is happening tomorrow. Alright, we have to uh, get some nice things then. Wow, we really have so many pumpkins. I placed them in the wrong one. Right over here, we have to place the pumpkins. Here we go. Are you making seeds out of them? Smart girl, smart girl. I don't think we will be friends with uh, with Sandy today, right? I'm not sure. Okay, are you going to do the grounds display tomorrow or shall I do it? I have a 100% tactic to win. Me? All right, all right, all right. 
Ooh, we got wool. Wait a minute. How the F did we get wool from here? Huh? The little bunny? Huh? Do you drop wool right now, little bunny? I have no idea. Check it down, Nippa. <clears throat> okay, I'm collecting some crops. And then we are going, right, Peg Like Pegger? Give me is a present, Peggy. Oh, beads and everything. All right. Tons of... Oh, no, jams, I see. Mm -hmm. Okay, we do need a lot of seeds down here, Peggy. We do need a lot of seeds. Apparently, Peggy only likes to uh, harvest those. By the way, when are we being able to, to harvest the damn um, mice corns, right? You know, it's a little bit silly right there. Or if you do need fresh ingredients, sometimes you just have to go to my fridge, okay, Peggy? Oh, glazed gems we can make right now. Let's make a couple uh, for us all. Like 15, 16, 17, sure. And oh, artichoke dip, sure, two of them. Then we can make a cranberry candy. Hmm, I think Peggy would love this though. Let's make uh, four then, or more. Okay, six. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Oh, 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 Peggy, it's in the fridge over here. One second. Fridge. There we go. Some extra food. Delicious. Check it out, Peggy. Check it out. Do you already have a present? Because uh, Pam Bus is going. We cannot go there anymore. So we have to get a large mouth bass. Okay. Let's go. I hope we are back on time, though, right? For Jody. Do you have a large mouth bass on you? Yeah. Yeah. We cannot. Nope. All right, let's go get a ma large mouth bass, Peggy. A large mouth bass. I knew it. Oh, I knew it, Peggy. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. No, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> oh, we don't care. All right, now let's see. Uh, large mouth bass. Two, 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 two. Okay, we got one, two of the epic versions, you know, which is a very sexy little thing. But Peggy, we missed a birthday. Come on, how rude is that? Ooh, pumpkins over there. Peggy, special for you. Let's go. In 30 minutes, they are expecting us. By the way, is he still going to cook them? Because that will be a little bit rude. I mean, right? You know, she's making a casserole. And this, she needs the large mouth bass for it. Then she has to fillet it. You know, it's already rotten and everything, right? Because it's so long in the chest. But, uh... Ah, details. We are late, Peggy. That's not a, that's not a thing of my people, right? We are always punctual. I hate that people are coming too late just because it's it's cool or whatsoever, right? You know what I mean? What is this for cutscene? Oh, hi, Kuruga. I was just about to have a snack. He's ruining it for us. Here, let me get something for you. Well, thank you very much, though. He's uh, making a wonderful evening. My boy. Oh, no. What a mess. What was that sound? Hmm. This is absolutely terrible. What happened? All right, Sam dropped the snack as he was handing it to me. Sam handed me the snack and then I dropped it. Sam dropped it on purpose. He thought it would be funny. That's rude. We are not going to lie, right? We are not going to lie. He's right. That, uh, that's what happened. Thanks for telling me the truth, Kurigo. It's not such a big deal. I'm sorry about this. I'll clean it up, Mom. Hi, Peggy. Thanks, honey. <laughs> this is a little bit insane, right? If uh, if eggs are being dropped. What is this? We got kicked out, Peggy. And Peggy's still inside? Wait a minute. It's locked. How freak is rude, Peggy. How freak is rude. I want that casserole tomorrow, I'm just saying. 
Sam, really? We did not even get the snack. And a raw egg is not a snack, my boy. It's not a snack, all right, you know? It's disgusting. Oh, no. Tomorrow, we have that fear. Nah. Difficult times for Kurigo, though, huh? Difficult times. Now, I'm going to prepare for tomorrow, Peggy. For the grand display. Shall we cheat? No, right? Let's do it honestly. Yeah, sure. Let's do it honestly, and then everything will be okay, I suppose. Um, melon. So, we do need a couple of numbers, right? Well, one, two, three, four. Uh, duck mayonnaise, five. Mm, goat cheese is six. Then we want to have the normal cheese is seven. Then we have the wool over here is eight. And then we need one more. And one more pumpkin. All right. Just to be sure, I want to grab something extra of the golden quality, right? You know? So if we do not come short... Uh, do, 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 do. That's an extra melon and strawberry will be fine. And a cherry. Sure. Pegger, are you ready for the betty? For bedtime? No, you're not. Do you need help? Oh my. It's 12.30. It's 12.30, boys. It's 1 a.m., Peggy. 1 a.m. Oh my. It's good that I do see that. Let's water this little crop over here. There we are. Very good, very good. Without me, all of this will be gone right now, right? Bless you, Peggy. Oh, best milk. It's a large purple hearted milk. Very cool, right? Very cool. Let's go to bed. Oh, boy. Will Peggy arrive on time in bed? We'll see, though. No, she passes out. I'm kidding. She was re in real life like, oh, 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 what happened? All right, now let's go. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's see if there's something else around here that is pretty nice to, to collect. No truffle so far. Oh, look at that. The woolly monster is uh, what well, can be wooled. Where are my scissors? Did I drop my scissors somewhere? I think I did. Shame upon uh, Peggy, though, for doing that. <laughs> I'm so mean. I'm really being mean lately, right? You know, to little Peggy, though. She doesn't deserve it. Okay, now let's see. We got these big boys. Oh, very lovely, very lovely. Yeah. Oh, the scissors. Are we already did have scissors, Peggy. Well, that's what we get, right, from running with them. Uh, wool is too young to be shared. Come on. It isn't. No, no, no. By the way, did I see that correctly, Peggy? Some weirdo that pl plays two electric lightning rods next to each other, you know, up there. Isn't that a little bit weird? It's a little bit weird, right, you know? Just a little bit. What a weirdo, man. What a weirdo. <laughs> All right, now let's go right over here. Oh, I think Peggy is wearing her finest clothing once more. Right over there. Nice. And there you go. There you go. Come on, Cthulhu. Thank you. And here we go with that one. Give me a leg. Come on, big boy. Ah, we could put an egg in there too, right? Hmm, what do you think? A purple-hearted egg? Oh, the princess is there, boys. The warrior princess. All right. It, it, uh, it did start, Peggy. I'm going to water some plants down here. Oh, we have tons of mice. Very good. Very good indeed. All right, Peggy, I'm going to wait for you, right, at the fair. And here we are, here we are, here we are. Did we actually bury the... I cannot move. Okay, now we can. Um, did we actually bury that one thing? And yes, we did. All right, I do not want anything from that. So let's start the grunge display, my boys. 
Um, the milk in the middle, I suppose. That one there. And then this one there. You know, the fruity stuff there. Then I want to have the pumpkin in the middle down. We want to have the duck mayonnaise to the left. I'm not sure why this, though. Well, let's go with this. Then this one there. And there you go. Then next to the go my uh, duck mayonnaise, we want to have that, of course. And this one stays here. Then we want to have the fizz over there at the top so all the juices can nicely drip down. Peggy, do we want to have a normal cheese? What are you smiling weirdly at? And then... The duck egg? Of, I mean the normal egg? Do you like it? I like the display. Oi, Peggy! <laughs> That's so mean, though. I thought we wanted to win fair and square, but let's go and get it started, all right? Oh, could we go? It's the big day. Oh, one second, one second, you know. Uh, there we go. Well, could we go? It's the big day. Or most important festival of the year, the Stardew Valley Fair. Uh, if you would like to participate by setting up a grand display, um... I've left an empty stand for you. Just let me know after you have set everything up so we can get to judging. A little bit demonic there, Mayor. Just saying. Uh, yes, we are ready. Yeah, okay. He's going, Peggy. He's going. I really wanted to win on my own affairs, though, but Peggy did sabotage me and the Mayor at the same time. You know, we will definitely win. Peggy just wants to win. It does not matter what. <laughs> he just stares at it and walks further, right, Peggy? Oh, by the way, take all the ingredients except the fish and put it in your fridge. You know? Peggy, you're in the way. Let, let the man go. Your grandson's play has been just returned to the mayor. Sure. You! Was that some kind of sick prank? Those are very private. Here, it takes 150 star tokens and don't tell a soul. Now go clean up your box and bring me my item tomorrow. Peggy, where's my fish? Peggy? Why did you steal the fish? Well, thank you very much, though. Now I have a very bad reputation with the mayor. My god, I'm, I'm ruined in this town. I am. All right, Peggy. Ah, my reputation though. Let's go back to farming. My God, all prices, you know, they're not won fairly. They are won by sabotaging and manipulating and blackmailing. Oh no, I'm so proud of Peggy though. I'm so proud of Peggy. Okay, Doki, Peggy, do you want to have the zero stars, the silver stars, or the golden stars, uh, mice? What? Zero? Okay. All right. I mean, you know. You know, guys, yesterday I wanted to surprise Peggy, right? You know, I love cooking. Peggy, you do not have any room in here, so I'm going to put it in the first chest, all right? With all your uh, stolen drinks. But, you know, yesterday, you know, I love cooking. So, Peggy and I are living together for around five years almost. And... She didn't have all of my recipes yet because there are tons and tons more, right? You know? And yesterday I was cooking and she did look at the cooking and was like, Dude, why are you cooking with puke? Peggy, please help me right here. You know? In the barn. Uh, by filling it up with the pumpkin stuff. But yeah, you know, she was like, Why are you, you know, cooking with puke? It looks disgusting and this and that. And my god, it was only the beginning of the cooking, right? You know? Everything has to be together still. You know, like to get the basic form and to get all the good stuff together, right? You know, it takes time. So later on, it wasn't white. It turned yellow because of, I mean, orange because of the um, puree and the herbs and everything. And it does look absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic, I tell you. But hey, that's Peggy, you know? And now she's like, oh my god, you know, she did taste some. Oh my god, I can't wait, you know, for dinner. I can't wait for dinner. Oh my god, you know, I want it. Yeah, you know, do you know how freaking rude that is, though? 
<laughs> it's very funny though. Absolutely. It really, really is. All right. Now let's go right over here. Let's go to bed, Peggy. You have 30 minutes. But yeah, you know, it did look like puke in the beginning, right? Because you knew, you know, to have the gook thing still and all. It's it's a normal transformation, though. All right, we almost have... Well, we, oh, no, I forgot to get all the the, the, the the big wound locks, Peggy. You know? I totally forgot to get that. And we have to upgrade our house. We have the money for it. But by that, I want to thank y'all for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Have a wonderful time. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Stay happy, stay healthy. And don't forget to subscribe, though. Bye-bye.